Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. This week, we're gonna tackle staining. But before we talk more about that, let's head over to Midnight Mitchell. Thank you, Mid-Afternoon Mitchell. And might I say, you look a heck of a lot better than I do. Thanks, buddy. But let's talk about this Chris Craft, huh? I hope nobody hates me for it, but I think I have an alternative solution to the electronics on this boat. While I would love to spend a bunch of money on it, I just, I just can't, I can't do it. I can't pony up the cash, buddies. When I was about 10, 12 years old, I took a Radio Shack monster truck, gutted it out, and put all the electronics into it. So, and again, please don't hate me for anybody that it, <laughs> it might get irritated by this, but this is my solution. For $150, I have a full functioning Traxxas Blast, new out of the box. And from my own experience, I, I feel like their electronics hold up pretty dang good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gut that boat. The electronic motor that's in there is about two to three millimeters larger in diameter than a standard 550 motor. But given my creativity and my ability, I think I can uh, shoehorn that into this little Chris Craft. Back to you, mid-afternoon, Mitch. Go get some sleep, buddy. So at this point, we're gonna take the uh, dry stain powder and we're going to mix it with eight to 12 ounces of water. If you wanna see what this looks like, it almost looks like paprika. This bottle of water is a little bit more than 12. We're gonna pour some of that out. I'm not gonna drink out of it because I do wanna store some of it for later. So, it's a water-based stain. So here we go. Let's see, let's see how this goes. In goes the paprika. It's probably not paprika. I wouldn't suggest drinking it. There we go. All right. Now we just have to call up Metro Station because we need a professional that knows how to shake it. Let me know if you guys get that reference. If you don't, YouTube will tell you. <laughs> 